Hello everyone, welcome back to Feed the Beast Ultimate Guide, uh, episode 2. Uh, decided to give myself a nickname, I'd be known as 562 from now on. And today, we're going to go ahead and make a macerator. Uh, we're going to make some other things too, but we're going to start with the macerator and we're going to go ahead and grind up some of this ore we have. We've got some tin and stuff like that. It'll be really good to have to grind up. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the recipe for macerator. So, it's a little bit expensive. This is why most people like to start um, build craft because the macerator is not cheap and I can't spell it either macerator there we go so other than my spelling issues let's go ahead and take a look at this so we're gonna need four flint that's no problem the three diamonds are a little expensive and we have a choice casing I usually use the machine block of course I click on the machine frame uh, I like to make the machine block because it's kind of simple, just eight iron, and then the iron you just uh, smelt it again to make refined iron, and then you can make a block. So I go ahead, I already went ahead and did that, so let's go ahead and make our machine frame first. I think it's in this chest. Nope, bottom one. So see, here's eight refined iron. It's basically smelting eight iron in a furnace. A little bit of lag. And then you take the iron, and you put it in a pattern like this. There we go, and you get a machine block. So, I, like I said, I like to use a machine block because iron is fairly simple to get. So, the next thing we're going to need for flint, let's go ahead and look for that in my chest. Let's see, not in this one. There we go. Let's grab all of it. So, then we're also going to need a three diamonds, no problem. So, let's go ahead and find the diamonds. I'll go ahead and just put three here. And then finally, we're going to need a advanced circuit. So the advanced circuit is made by getting redstone, lazuli, um, lapis lazuli, and uh, glowstone, and then electronic circuit. The electronic circuit is made from six copper cables, two redstone, and refined iron. So let me go ahead and go off camera and uh, get those materials. And we're back. Uh, now I've gotten my uh, lapis lazuli and glowstone, so we're ready to go ahead and make this. I was just having trouble making the advanced circuit. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you how to make a fine iron. Basically, you stick an iron. Ooh, not sure how that happened. You stick an. Where did my iron go? Ah, there it is. Got stuck. All right. So you take a fine iron or an iron ore, and later we're going to be grinding it into dust and then turn it into iron. So you, gr you uh, burnish it, then you'll get an iron, then you just put it right back in, and the second time around you'll get a refined iron. This is one of the components you need for the advanced circuit. So let's go ahead and just finish this up. So I've got all the supplies needed to make our macerator. So I put them in here. We've got the glowstone, lapis lazuli, which I actually could not find. Uh, but another guy on the server here named Seaman, he was able to give me some of his, so he did, and that was nice. Thank you, Seaman. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our macerator. One of the greatest things I like about the Feed the Beast mod pack is the NEI, and you can actually use it to make things. I'm, well, not make things, but you know, to figure out recipes. So then I'd click on the recipe, and if you press the question mark, it'll put the recipe right there. So I'll take my refined iron, stick it there, two redstone, and three copper cables. Six copper cables. Three at top bottom. There we go. And then if you want to see what the next part is, you go there, you click on the advanced circuit, and you hit the question mark, and it'll put the advanced circuit recipe there. So then we put the electronic circuit there. The redstone in every corner. Glowstone here and here. It actually doesn't matter, you can actually put it the other way too, but we'll from this paper says we'll just follow the recipe. You get the advanced circuit. So we'll click on the macerator, and we'll go ahead and do this. It'll show us we need we it's, the machine block is a substitute for the machine casing. So we'll go ahead and use that there for flint and three diamonds. Cool. And there's your macerator. All right. Now the macerator is the biggest part of our build. It's what we need to really get started with IC2. You could build a pulverizer, but then you're going to be using a lot of uh, 
resources like coal or charcoal or uh, blaze rods or whatever it takes to, I don't think, no you can't put blaze rods in the machines but uh, or lava into those machines to get them to power. Uh, granted we will have to use a generator and use coal initially for our macerator but later on we're going to be using lava from the nether and we're going to have basically an infinite lava pool. So let's go ahead and make a generator. One second, let's go ahead and look at what a generator is. Alright, generator's here. So the generator is a iron furnace, three refined iron, and an RE battery. Now, I've already put the RE battery together. The RE battery is 410, two redstone, and a copper cable. So, oh, there it is. Found it. So there's the, that. We need this. Uh, we're going to need the refined iron. So I'm going to go ahead and cook up some more iron. And I'll be back up with you guys in a second. Alright, and we're back. I already ha just went ahead and made some more refined iron. Here it is. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and make our generator. So to make a generator, I'm going to use this bottom recipe. Uh, we're going to need a machine block, a furnace, and an RE battery. So we, from the before, we made the machine block by taking 8 iron. And you won't be able to see the ones that are covered up by the pictures. Then do that. Then we're going to put the machine block there. A furnace there. And the RE battery there. And we'll make our generator. Perfect. So now, we have a generator. And we have a macerator. And we're going to use these to pretty much grind up all our materials. The great thing about the macerator is you can also macerate cobblestone and make sand. Which is, can be more useful later on. So let's go ahead and take this upstairs. I usually use my upper portion of my houses to do uh, machine stuff. The reason for this is mainly because I'm, I'm always worried about creepers and stuff just taking out my equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to put the macerator. I usually like to have my macerator on the uh, right side. Um, if you're facing from the back to the right side. But. Anyways, uh, in this current orientation, it's the left side. But anyways, let's see. Oh, I'm going to need some fuel for it. No, if I remember correctly, you can pretty much put anything in here that burns. Could be wrong. Can't remember for sure. Uh, I think I'm just going to grab this 40 logs, break them up, and then use them in the macerator. Let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it into ton of these things. No, not the macerator. The generator. Yep, you can. Alright, I'll be right back after this thing gets a little bit of power. Alright, and we're back again. Uh, real quick, um, the last part of the episode I was going to talk about the compressor. Uh, unfortunately, the data for that got destroyed. So I'm just going to re-record this real quick. So the compressor is made, compressor is made by taking six smooth stone, a machine block, and electronic circuit. Okay? Alright, so unfortunately, like I was saying, um, we made the macerator, I put it down, and I was charging it up. Unfortunately, the the file was corrupted. So by the end of the first episode, we had made the or the first part of this episode number two, we made the play bending machine and the compressor. So then here's your compressor. So on the third part, which is coming up right in here in a second, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make the plate bending machine. The compressor is not too hard to make. Um, so yep. All right. See you soon. All right, and we're back. So now I've got all the components we need for this device. So what we're gonna need for the, let's see, it's called the plate bending machine. It's going to be the four pistons, two compressors, uh, two electronic circuits, and a conveyor belt, which is made this way. So let's go ahead and start with the conveyor belt. So what we're going to need is going to be three, well, we're going to use three refined iron because we can't make plates. Um, two circuits an RE battery and glass and there's our conveyor so now let's go ahead and make our compressors for this formula 
So we're going to click Compressor, and we're going to hit the little question mark. And we're going to make two, so I'm going to put two into every slot. And then I'm going to put my two there, and I'm going to put two electronic circuits there. And bam, we've got two compressors. All right, so for the final part, we're just going to put it all together. We're going to have two compressors, pick on variable, belt, two electronic circuits, and the four pistons. So we're going to go four pistons, two of those, two compressors, and a conveyor belt. And there we go. We have our plate bending machine. So let's go ahead and take this upstairs to our little generator. And you know what? I'm just going to stick it right on top. So there we go. So now we have our plate bending machine, rotary macerator, and compressor. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the materials I need for the uh, rotary macerator, and I'll be right back. And we're back. I got the coal, so I'm going to go ahead and show you in the compressor how to make it. And so you take these raw carbon meshes, which is made by taking, let me go there real quick. Um, you take four of these, you t and then you, they become this. So oh, this is coal dust. You take coal, you macerate it, and it turns into this. You put in this pattern, you get one of these. You make two of those, so you need eight for one. Uh, and then it takes, and that makes a coal carbon mesh or it makes a raw carbon mesh and you need two of those so then we put them in the compressor and it compresses them keep an eye on this compressor or this generator have to put wood in it every once in a while uh, well, another note about the uh, generator if, when you're doing this to starting out um, you're gonna have to occasionally put wood into it if you leave all the wood in there you'll run out very quickly because as soon as it runs out a little bit of power it uses another wood up. So, or you can use coal or other things, but if you, the, the better the fuel you use, the worse efficiency you'll get because you'll end up losing a lot of uh, fuel. So you'll see here it's lost a little bit. So I'll just stick one in and then it'll go right back up. And there we go, we got our two carbon plates. So now, the next part of the rotary macerator is we're going to need the advanced machine block which is made from this advanced alloy which is uh, this mixed metal ingot compressed which is a refined iron plate uh, a bronze plate and a tin plate the bronze plate is a little bit of a pain to make but we need two of each of these okay so one of the things we're going to do is we're going to take you know our bars our iron bars and we're going to put them in the plate bending machine and we'll get our refined iron plate so let's go ahead, I'm going to go off camera, and I'm going to go ahead and make all the things we need. Uh, oh, one quick thing though. Um, so the bronze, bronze is a little bit of a pain, because bronze is going to be, uh, so I'll go ahead and show you, oh, I'll go ahead and just go over here. Bronze is made of tin and copper. So in order to make bronze, it's a little bit of a pain, you have to take, here we go. Oh, yeah, let's just ignore the minium stone. Actually, have, yeah, no, we want to do that. Uh, no, we don't have an alloy smelter. This is one way of doing it, but I'll go ahead and tell you. So you take three copper in this fashion and one tin, and you, it becomes one bar. But if you take three copper dust and then three, whoops, no, I can't go back. Um, all right, so if you take three copper dust and one, and, uh, one tin dust, you get two uh, bronze dust which is a much more efficient way of doing it because you get two instead of one so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and make those bars and we'll use the plate bending machine see you soon and hello again I uh, wanted to show you guys really quickly what I meant about the tin or the uh, bronze so we have three copper so the same pattern with the dust and then the tin and you get two bronze dust instead of just one bar so then you take this you just stick it in your furnace and you'll get two bronze and like I said we needed two refined iron two tin and then we're gonna get two bronze and then we'll stick this in our plate bending machine um, there's something I wanted to mention earlier about the IC2 so there's like I said there's disadvantages to IC2 and there's disadvantages to um, build craft the disadvantage to IC, another disadvantage to IC2 is in order to move the machines you have to 
have a special wrench or they'll explode or not explode they'll dismantle themselves and you will not be able to use them anymore so that part really sucks so we're gonna have to make a IC2 wrench. Oh wow, ran out of power. Didn't think that was gonna happen. So we're gonna have to make sure we um oops that one. Uh right, we're gonna have to make the wrench. So the wrench is what we're gonna use to move. We're gonna have to pick up the macerator because um well that's just what we're gonna have to do in order to get our uh, rotary macerator and the rotary macerator is incredibly fast I mean it'll macerate a stack of 64 iron in probably one and a half to two minutes I'm not 100% sure on that I'm gonna have to look it up anyways I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up a little bit let that fill up with energy oh something's taking energy oh all the machines are okay so that'll fill up with energy let's go back down here Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to make the mix, the ingots, the uh, mixed metal ingots. So the iron goes on top, bronze, then tin, and you get these mixed metal ingots. Cool. And we already have our carbon plate from earlier, so we'll go back upstairs. Oh yeah, I got some dogs. I got uh, lost on the way back from the nether portal, and I inherited some puppies. And I started breeding them. Alright, so now here's our compressor. And we're going to stick that into the compressor. Probably going to need more fuel in there. Go ahead and stick two. So that'll compress them. Takes a second. But yeah. I'll go ahead and pause the video for a second. Hello again. Uh, real quick, uh, show you how to make the wrench. So you just do this, and there you have a wrench. Now it does take damage, so the more you use it, the more it breaks up. So now I'm going to show you using it on the macerator. There is a chance that your macerator will break anyways, and you won't get it back. So one thing you have to make sure when you do this is you hold down shift. So you crouch, then you right click. And there's the macerator. There's a small chance, even if you do shift right click, that you will not get it back. It's not a huge chance, but it's there, and I thought I'd warn you guys about it. So, okay. So now all we have to do is we have to make a rotary macerator. I, sh I think I have all the stuff to make it. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. So we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to have the refined iron and the casing. But let's go ahead and look at how the advanced casing is made. Machine block, my bad. So we'll go ahead and put that there. So it's going to take this machine block. It goes there. It's going to take these two alloy plates. There and there. And then it's going to take two carbon plates. There and there. And we get our advanced machine block. Alright. So now, to make the rotary macerator, which is what I'm really excited about, we're going to take the macerator, stick it in the center, advanced machine block in the bottom, and then seven refined iron. I made one too many. That's okay. We use a lot of refined iron. So, and then you get a rotary macerator. This is exciting. So let's go ahead and stick this baby upstairs, and we'll use it, and I'll go ahead and give you guys a little tutorial. Well, not a tutorial, but show you how fast this thing is. Okay, and put it down. There we go. So pretty much looks the same. There's two slots here. Um, a lot of people are probably like, why is there two slots? The truth is, this is the only slot that actually does anything. This one here was, an, the idea of the creators was that it was going to be like, you put another material there and then you make a special type of item. Well, anyways, what happens if you, any item you put on the left side, it macerates, and you'll get up to 128 items here, 64 and 64. Then you have to pick them up or you have to pump them out from the side. And you can pump them out, so that's the cool part. Uh, and you pump things out from any side using uh, build craft machines and pipes. Uh, you can also use the um, uh, pneumatic pipes to do it. 
But anyway, so now let's take a look real quick. Just recharging up. So this is all charged up. Um, it uses the same amount of energy as the, the uh, Mesa Raider before this one. But the cool thing is, you see here, this RPM, when it gets up to about, I'd say, 3,000 RPM, it's macerating one piece of something a second. It goes really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of my materials and come back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how this thing works. So I'm going to go ahead and take the 63 iron, because that's going to take... Uh, that will actually speed it up to a good amount. So you see here, the RPM is going up, and it will keep going up, and at first it's real slow. It's slower than the Macerator was, um, or maybe just as fast, but it's, well, actually it looks pretty good. Oh, anyways, so it speeds up, and it gets faster and faster as it goes along. we got to make sure we have enough power. Let me just go ahead and stick a couple of these in there. And it doesn't use, like I said, it doesn't use any more power than the, the uh, other machine. Um, it still uses, the uh, energy system for IC2 is EU. So it's energy units. And this one uses 32 energy units per tick. There are 20 ticks per second. I know this is a lot to think about, but, uh, so it uses quite a bit of energy per second. But if you think about it, um, with as much fuel as we're putting in here, we're doing just fine. It's not a big deal. Just throw some more in here. And it will use less energy because as soon as this thing speeds up, it gets up to a good speed, we'll be macerating quickly. You can already see it's going faster than the macerator was. So we're actually saving uh, energy with this build. So I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll show it to you when it's going at full speed or close to full speed brought you guys back. Uh, here we go. This is about the speed it is at 3000 RPM. This is about half of the speed it gets up to. It gets up to 7000. You're going through stacks very quickly. So this is really good if you're using a uh, quarry. So you just collect the ores and then when the quarry's done, you take all your ores and you stick them into the rotary macerator. So I'll go ahead and just show you real quick. It's still going up faster. So you can see here I've got 64 iron dust here, 6 here. And you can you know shift click and it'll all go to the least pile. So it's almost done. Um, the cool, another cool thing about this is if it runs out of electricity, it'll still macerate uh, until the, um, you see here it ran out of energy, until it runs out of uh, speed. So now I'm, I'm repowering it, so it's going to start speeding up again. So you saw how it dipped down. So let's try to, oh, actually it's dipping down because there's nothing in it. Let's put some copper in there. So there we go. It's going to go back. It's going to start speeding up again. Let's give it some more energy. See, sorry, I lost energy. Didn't keep track of it. All right, so you see here now I have about 126, well, I have exactly 126 iron uh, dust, which is really good. Um, later on, we're going to be making tanks and stuff with our plate bending machine. It'll be awesome. Tanks can hold a ton of stuff, uh, liquids, and it's really good to have tanks. So you see now I can macerate all my stuff. This is just really quick, and it uses less energy. So now I'm going to stick my silver in there. Check on this real quick. Needs more energy. Very quick. This is why I like IC2, because as soon as I start doing my mining, and as soon as I get my quarry, I can already get all my materials pretty much instantaneously. Um, within maximum 10 minutes, you'll have everything macerated, and you'll have the maximum amount of materials. You do lose out on the like 10% chance to get ferrous ore from iron and that kind of stuff with the pulverizer, but the pulverizer just cannot get this quick. Um, so it's not time efficient. And time is a big thing, so because it takes a long time to make a lot of different things, and you don't want to be sitting around messing with your pulverizer, trying to get it to be as automatic as possible, and it's just not. So this is what I do. So now ferrous ore gives you nickel, so it's not called ferrous. So if you see a recipe that requires um, requires ferrous ore, ferrous dust, or ferrous ore. 
Um, just keep in mind that the pulverizer makes it ferrous. The uh, macerator makes it nickel. So they both do the same thing. And it should say in the recipe that you can use that. So I think all I have to do is macerate the tin and then we're all done. Uh, and the, mace the rotary macerator, I believe, gets up to 7,500 RPM. So 7,500 rotations per minute. Which is really just a number that they put in the program. But it's good to know that. That that's the max speed. So I'm going to do that real quick. Oh man, I love the macerator. Yep, so it's working on that. And you can see now it's even faster. It's less than a second per maceration. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get all the 7,500 because I didn't have that many materials. But there's 5,000 for you. All right. And thank you very much. It's been a good episode. I'll see you next time, and we'll go into some more uh, items. And, yeah, all right. Have a good day.